a seat anywhere, please. Hello everyone, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you all. I'm taking your lesson today. I'm trying to do something a bit different. Um, so first of all, welcome to the UN. Does anybody know what the UN is? UN? United Nations, well done, do you know what our job is? The UN's job? That's right, at the bottom, keeps the peace. Keeps the peace. So we're gonna have a nice peaceful day today, okay? Um, I only have two rules today. First of all, I want you to respect each other and to speak English only. Is that okay? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, today we're talking about something called geopolitics. Can everybody repeat after me? Geopolitics? Geopolitics. And essentially what geopolitics is, is just geography and politics. Uh, as we go through, you can write down some notes. Maybe it will help you later on. So first of all, what is geopolitics? Like I said, it's just geography and politics put together. Um, it's especially how geography influences politics. So how do hills, oceans, rivers, lakes, fields influence politics? <coughs> Can an ocean change the way a country acts? Can a river make a country go to war? So why should we care about this geopolitics? Well, by understanding the geographical problems of this world, why hills make problems for countries, why oceans make countries uh, make problems for countries, we can understand the way a country acts and why it acts that way. First of all, everybody, on your desks there are some name tags. Can everybody put on a name tag, please? Don't worry about which one it is. It doesn't matter which one it is. Play a game today. Um, this game is going to help us do a few things. First of all, it's going to help us analyze the world from a geographical point of view. We should have a better picture of what the world is like through its geography. Uh, we're going to be able to evaluate three countries: Russia, the USA, and China. I'll say that again: Russia, over here, behind you; the USA, here, in the middle. China, and what geographical problems they have. What problems do they have with oceans? What problems do they have with rivers? What problems do they have with deserts? And by doing this, we're going to be able to hopefully think about some solutions to these geographical problems. What can we do to make these problems go away? Uh, hopefully by the end of this lesson, we'll understand just how complex of an issue this is. Geographical problems are probably the biggest problem for the world when it comes to things like war or trade. So the first step we have, on your desk you may also see a map that's been cut up a little bit. Can we see it everyone? Yes? This one here? Um, there's two maps there. What I want you to do is a bit of a race. First team to reassemble their map and stick it on their board will get a prize. And the prize is one of these things. Uh, you can either choose Chinese to English dictionary to help you today. You can either choose the mystery box, or you can choose the lovely Nadine to help you as an advisor today. Okay, so the first team to assemble their map and stick it up on the board can choose first. Go. The Dean is a good choice, I'm not going to lie. You have a political advisor to help you. She will help you translate words, but not give you answers. Uh, China, what would you like to choose between the English dictionary or the mystery box? Mystery box. No, no, have a look inside. Guys, you get the English dictionary today. A bunch of candies. Maybe you can use those. Maybe you can use those. You can eat them, or you can trade them. So you can get some other things, okay? Alright, here's what we're going to do today. I have three intelligence packs for you. China, this is your intelligence pack. Russia, this is your intelligence pack. And the USA, this is your intelligence pack. 
Inside, there are worksheets for everybody, corresponding to your name. So look inside, find a worksheet corresponding to your name. The job for you today is you have about 15, 20 minutes. Work together as a team to complete those worksheets and think about the best way you can rule your country. Think about any problems you will have uh, in your country using your maps. Um, and work through the worksheets together as a team. The first team to finish will obviously have an advantage. So, open your intelligence packs now, have a look at some of the letters, read through them. So, whatever you are corresponds to what's there. Let's have a look. Yeah, we have trade advisor. Who's a trade advisor? Have a look at your, we have a trade advisor here. Another trade advisor? Is there more than one? You two? You two are going to work together today. We have a intelligence officer. Who's an intelligence officer? The about you two? Anybody else? Work together today. We have a leader of state. Leader of state, hello. Work together with your other leader of state today. And we have some maps that will help you, okay? I want you to read through. And I want you to work together and try and fill out some of the answers. What do we have? We have a leader of state. Who's leader of state today? You, anybody else? You two work together. Work together. Try and answer that worksheet. Read through. And try and try the best you can. Are you two the airport military advisors? Good. You can work together. Try the best you can. What have we got over here? Military advisor. Who's your military advisor? Train advisor. Train advisor. Anybody else? Train advisor. Yeah. Are Leader of state. Leader of state, work together, work together on this one, okay? Try and that, try and as best we can. What are you over there? Uh, 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 what are you guys? Military advisor? Oh, military. Military advisor? The military. Intelligence you two will be working together today. Have an intelligence officer. Come on, come on. Come on. Work up again. We're best friends today, okay? Uh, you're going to work through on that one. So read through first and see how best you can answer the question. Yeah. 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 Use your colour maps to help you. Use your colour maps to help you. So read through voice. What does it say? D U F O F. Okay, so I'm cut the the Yeah, you have some truth. You may cut and stick these pictures to the map. Where's the best thing you should put there in the United States? To keep your country at peace. To keep your country at peace. So, yeah. China, you you think you should put your soldiers on the map to best keep your country at peace. What are you guys? Trade advisors? I know you love thinking about it. Any weaknesses? You have? Can you explain this? Can you explain this? Can you explain this? Can you explain this? Can you America and their planes pointed at Russia. America, your planes don't scare us, okay? Pointed at us. Good job, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, we're here to be a fighter. We're here to be a fighter. We're here to be a fighter.
Finished? When you're finished, sit down, please. Sit down, please. Sweets are coming in handy. We're in Rico standing. He wants to represent America. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, oh, leave it there. It's fine there. It's fine there. So, listen, you want to know? No, no, no. Ali, it's going to be a bit difficult. Just walk in through if you can for later on. Can I have the uh, leaders of state standing up, please? Actually, sorry, let's, let's do that again. Can I have the trade advisors standing up, please? Trade advisors. Trade advisors, can you stand up, please, from all countries? Trade advisors. Trade advisors. Trade advisors. Trade advisors. Trade advisors. China. China, can you go first, please? China, can you tell us what strengths you have? In terms of trade, where's your other friend? Is it just you? Put together. And can everybody please listen? Please listen. China, any strengths in terms of trade? Uh, maybe the military problems. Military. The, the military problems? Yeah. Which, which, so that's weaknesses, China right? Between, uh, uh, Middle East or uh -huh. Russia. Yeah. Or gets in the way of what? You building any. Japan. Gets in the way of building. Uh, we, we always through the mountains. I right, gotta go through mountains. Uh, go to the Europe. To get to Europe. Trade. Very good. Yeah. And we always buy the uh, trade by the Silk Road. Uh huh, the Silk Road. And touch one, touch one, touch one. So you've got to go through mountains to trade with Europe, and you've got to go through. Uh, Any dangerous countries there? Uh, yeah, Middle East. The Middle East? Uh, what about these guys over here? Oh, Russia. Are they dangerous? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Very good. Any strengths? Anything good? Anything good about China and trade? We can trade with China. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you can trade by sea. You've got access to ports to trade from. Thank you very much. Trade advisors from the USA. Any any good trading things about the USA? Yeah, we got two oceans. Two oceans, yes, we've got two oceans. Two countries. Yeah. Super. Any problems with them countries, do you think? Mexico? Canada? Too close? They're too close. Maybe they will cause problems. Thank you very much, trade advisors. Russia, any uh, good trade that you can do? Any problems that you might see? Geographical problems. So what's some good things about Russia for trade? Too much mountains, yeah, they get in the way of trade, right? Anything good? Besides Europe, so very easy to trade, right? Through the roads. Any uh, water around Russia? Look at the blue, look at the blue. <laughs> A little bit, right? But it's very, very, very far north, so it's very hard to get south to the other countries. Very good, thank you very much, Russia. Sit down, trade advisors. Uh, military advisors, please stand up. Military advisors, military advisors, military advisors. Oh, military advisors. Let's start with Russia this time. Russia, any problems you might see with the um, with countries that surround you? Ukraine. I don't know what you're trying to say. Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine. 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 yeah. Uh, actually, uh, let's uh, have a war against the Russia last uh, century. So I think it's a big problem. It's a big problem. Could be, could be, yes. Yeah, so, uh, and in the Middle East, because of the America, or, uh, the other country wants the oil to do some trade. So, good. So we still need some 
from the, the military powers to uh, to uh, 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 show uh, to um, stuff like that. Uh, and also, the uh, Mongolia and the China, the other countries, uh, I think uh, they are good friends, so we yep. don't need any. Good. To, and on the end, and, and here it's besides, besides America, and it's also a big problem. So we, Put a lot of troops there. Well done, yes, very good. Uh, USA, any military problems that you foresee? Come over here, please show us. Please listen, everybody. Please listen. And over here, we have armies to protect the main cities. Yeah. Here, the Washington and New York City and LA. Yeah. And the uh, Air Force Base, not here. Here we have Mexico here, and we have the tanks here. Very good. Yeah. And this way it's Cuba. Cuba, they have the potential. Yeah, yeah, Tourist potential here. problem. And this way we have a struggle, so we have Cuba and another Air Force base here. Okay. And about the Canada, we don't have to worry too much about that because we have Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, sorry everybody, we've run out of time, but if you'd like to go have a look around and see what everybody else chose to do, can we come to the conclusion of who we think might have the biggest uh, geographical problems and the biggest geographical strengths? Uh, USA, did you find anything was good about your country in terms of geogra geography? Any weaknesses, USA? Any, any problems? No. <laughs> None at all. Um, have a look around, everybody, and before we go, let me tell you very quickly what is considered to be the best country from geography. Russia has a lot of problems. Uh, it's threatened by the west of Europe. It's very close to the west of Europe. It has a lot of mountains, and unfortunately, it doesn't have any ports in the south. It has no warm water ports, which makes it very difficult for it to trade overseas. In fact, the one big thing Russia wants is a port in the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean. It would make trade so much easier. Uh, China, on the other hand, it uh, doesn't have very many strong neighbors. Mongolia, very weak to the north. Uh, in the south, Vietnam, Thailand, so it's very, very weak too. Um, it must control that part of the Pacific Ocean, because if it doesn't control that part of the Pacific Ocean, it finds it very difficult to trade with the world. Um, it can create overland trade routes, which it's doing. Some of you pointed out you have the Silk Road. But first, it must take a, uh, go over mountains, go over deserts, and it must talk to all of those neighbors to make sure that's okay, which is a very big problem for China. Uh, lastly, we go to the USA, and the USA is the perfect country geographically. It is surrounded by two big oceans, meaning it can trade with the whole world. Canada to the north is its best friend, as well as Mexico to the south also one of its best friends, and it trades with those two countries all the time. It does not have a lot of enemies in the area, and it has lots of easy, tradable routes. So USA is generally considered to be one of the world's geographical powers. It doesn't have a lot of problems, and it's one of the reasons the USA is so rich. China, on the other hand, has a lot of problems with trying to find trade routes, so does Russia with trying to keep its country safe from Eastern, uh, Western Europe. Uh, please do have a look around, everybody. Thank you very much for coming today and enjoy.